Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady, where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. All right, I got a great question really asking the difference between a bookkeeper and a CPA and trying to figure out which one do you need, okay? Um, and you, the so the thing about it is, and you know, the major takeaway from this is that bookkeeping is really foundational to your business. And you know, I, I'll talk more about that, but it really is a foundational thing. So if you're not tracking what's happening in your business, there is absolutely no way that you know what is going on financially with your business. Okay. Let's get down with the nitty gritty. All right, so let's start with bookkeepers. Now, bookkeepers don't necessarily require a college degree, although there are bookkeepers who have accounting degrees, okay? And you really luck out if you get one, okay? But um, bookkeeping is really more about the details of your business. They are recording and it's recording and classifying transactions, both income and outgo. So I look at it, okay, listen, and if I have bookkeeper friends. Don't come for me when I'm using this as a picture, but y'all know how I like to paint pictures. So let's just say you are getting paid in beans, all right? You got all kinds of beans. As a business owner, you just want to see the beans. You want to see a big pile of beans, right? But your bookkeeper is going to tell you whether or not you've got navy beans, you got kidney beans, you got green beans, you know, it's bookkeeping is really differentiating that. So if you are saying, I've got multiple streams of income, well, that's great, but you need to know how those multiple in, multiple streams of income are actually coming in and actually performing. Like, where are you really making your money? All right. And whereas accountants, that is more of the analysis part, analysis in, you know, looking over the data because bookkeeping provides the data, CPAs, who are degreed accountants and CPAs have gone through a lot to become a CPA. Okay. They've gone to college. They've had to work under an, you know, work in an accounting firm. They've had to take a crazy set of tests. Okay. So a CPA is not a punk. <laughs> All right. And so. The CPAs provide the analysis part. They're looking more at your financial reports. They're looking at not just your profit and loss. They're looking at your balance sheets. They're looking at your cash flow statements. These are, that's more of an analysis part. So, but you got to have the data in the bookkeeping in order for the CPA to analyze the data. So the CPA is looking at everything. They're looking at, hey, you're spending X amount here to get these kidney beans, but these kidney beans ain't coming in. However, your green beans are bossing out. And so maybe you need to shift some resources to the green bean so that you can boss out more in that area and get rid of kidney beans altogether. It, the, the CPA looks at the data to help you make better financial decisions about your business. Because what we do as business owners, we just look and say, oh, we're making money. All right. And then you also make sure you've got enough money to pay the bills. Most business owners are excited to have enough money to pay the bills. But what's not being looked at is whether or not the money that you're investing in your different streams of income is actually being profitable for you. That You hear that return on investment. So if you're spending thousands of dollars to grow kidney beans and these kidney beans ain't doing nothing, but you spending a hundred dollars and the green beans are bossing out, well, what would happen if you shifted more resources to your green beans and then you just got green beans forever? Okay. And so this is what CPAs do. They provide that analysis for you to go back and look over your historical data to see how your business has been growing, to see where you have been allocating your resources, allocating your money, right? Where this is where we talk about budgeting. Budgeting is you telling your money where to go. How have you been allocating your resources and what that return has looked, has, you know, has looked like for you. So your bookkeeping, though, your bookkeeping provides that data. You can't have accounting without bookkeeping, okay? You just can't because the bookkeeping is going to tell you, hey, you got this, this amount of kidney beans and you spending, you know, way more kidney beans than what we're making. You got your green beans coming in. Your green beans is overflowing, 
but you know, and you're not, so they're classifying those transactions so that you can see at, you know, at the end of a quarter, how much money have you spent on advertising? How much money have you spent on contractors? How much money have you spent on meals and entertainment? And what has that really done for your business? How much money have you spent buying tools how much money have you spent for coaching see we will be real quick as business owners to go spend money but we're really not taking the time to see how that has really benefited our business like what has that done for our businesses so this is why you know I tell you that as a as a business owner and especially as a new business owner, you know, bookkeeping is going to provide that data for you. Now, you may have to book a, you know, a consultation with a CPA to say, "Hey, can you help me analyze this? Can you tell me what this actually means for me and what I need to do?" Bookkeeping is probably going to be a little bit more cost effective. Okay, if you are cost sensitive, then you might need a bookkeeper where when you have a more robust income, then you can hire a CPA to help you with your finances. But understand in all of this, never did I say you as a business owner need to be, you know, need to learn bookkeeping or that you need to learn how to be a CPA. I did not say that. Now, in the beginning, when you're bootstrapping, you might need to hire a bookkeeper to help set you up and to help you learn how to classify transactions. And that's okay. But just know that as that starts to grow, you need to be working to shift that whole bookkeeping piece out. And then when you grow some more revenue, then you can hire that CPA that's going to help you analyze the data and see what the mistake that we make as business owners is we think, oh, when I make all this money, then I will hire the bookkeeper. Then I will hire the CPA. Then I will hire the, um, the financial advisor. But the truth is, this is how wealthy people get wealthy. They hire the people early on as possible to whose job it is to help you grow your wealth, manage your money, and all those things so that you're making better financial decisions about your business. See, we just think, oh, we have seen the latest product. And they said that my business cannot do without it. So they must know what they're talking about. So we just go and buy it. Not really taking the time to understand and even think about how is this product or service going to benefit my business? Where am I in this business right now? Do I even need this type of service? And depending on what your data tells you, that's going to be the yes or no question. You know, when you look at your data and you say, okay, uh, I'm really not making any money right now. Okay, then you have to ask, why aren't you making any money? Is it because you have not allocated enough resources to advertising? Have you overspent the money that you have made? Bookkeeping will tell you that. Or have you over-invested in one particular area of your business and you need to pull some resources from there and put it in another part of your business? See, the thing about multiple streams of income, yes, we love it. We love having money coming from everywhere. But if you've got multiple little trickles of stuff, that's multiple streams of no income. It is better for you to focus your efforts on building a river of income and then building off a little branch and go and, and add something else to your business. What we try to do is we try to build a whole tree at the same time. We got branches going everywhere. We got divided attention and all of that stuff. And see, when you divide your money like that, your bookkeeping is going to tell you exactly where you've put your money. And your income is going to tell you how that has worked for you. So bookkeeping is essential. So I would tell anybody, you start with your bookkeeping first, then you grow into a CPA. And CPAs, there are, there are accounting firms that offer bookkeeping services that that's what they do. And even with your bookkeeping, like I said, you might have to hire a bookkeeper to set you up because you don't have that much going on right now. And that's okay. So you can hire a bookkeeper to do your setup for you, to show you how to, um, how to classify your transactions. 
Absolutely. And then you can hire them to meet with them once a quarter or so to make sure that you have everything in place. Notice I'm using the word hire, okay? Because this is an investment. See, this is this is the not sexy investment, okay? Because see, we will spend $5,000 to learn how to make $5. <laughs> we will do that in a heartbeat. But we will not invest the money in the professionals who are going to help us manage and grow the wealth and 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 be responsible about it, right? And then making sure that you're allocating money for taxes, okay? Because see that when where people are complaining about their taxes and stuff, the first thing I ask is, where is your bookkeeping? And if I don't see bookkeeping, listen, that's the first place. Bookkeeping is the first place. It's foundational. So you will forever hear me preaching the gospel of bookkeeping. Now, so like I said, when you're getting started, um, and yes, my friend Tori is on here. When you're ready for the upgrade, you can move to outsource CFO services, CFO, chief financial officers. These are the people that forecast the finances and how you're going to get the money that you need. See, CPAs, let's go back. Bookkeepers provide data for CPAs to analyze and then CFOs then take that information and we're going to forecast what kind of resources you need and look for ways to get it. Yes. Okay. That's when you really bossing out. All right. So yeah, but get your bookkeeping right first. Um, you know, as to whether or not you need a CPA, if you don't have a bookkeeper already, if you don't have bookkeeping on in place, you don't need a CPA. You got to get the bookkeeping right first. And perhaps that CPA offers that bookkeeping service because, you know, a lot of them do because it's a foundational part of accounting. You have bookkeepers that work for CPAs. So yeah, you got to get the bookkeeping right before you can have the CPA to analyze anything. And then also understand this, when you go and tell a, um, you know, a bookkeeper, like I've got three years worth of stuff that needs to go into bookkeeping, you better be ready to invest. This is why you do it from the beginning. So you can invest a little bit at a time instead of writing a fact check all at once. Okay. So yeah. Get you some bookkeeping. There's all sorts of, uh, you know, bookkeeping software out there. If you need a bookkeeper, reach out to me. I have a, a squad of bookkeepers that, um, that will be happy to serve you. And you just have to find the one that's right for you. I can't tell you that. That's, that's something that you have to go through. Okay, so that's it for today's episode of Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock. Oh, before I forget, listen, um, Boot Camp Business Coaching is coming out. The shopping cart is going to be open on May 1st. Wait, let me look at my calendar so I don't lie. Da, 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 da. May 6th, sorry, May 6th, Okay. And so it's going to be four weeks. We're going to cover foundational stuff. You're going to have, um, we're going to talk about the business plan. We're going to talk about setting a budget. That's week two. Week three is going to be all about bookkeeping. I'm not going to teach you how to look, uh, how to do bookkeeping. I'm going to show you what to look at in your bookkeeping. And then week four is all about performance analysis, how you can look back and see what you did. Um, somebody asked, Charles asked, how did you bookkeepers price their service? Flat rate by project volume. Okay. Bookkeepers price their, they price differently. Some price by the hour, some price based on a project. Like if all you wanted, all you need is set up, then they have a price for that. But if you're talking about doing cleanup work, that's, you know, that's an entirely different service. And, you know, and so bookkeepers price differently, but yeah, it just, it really just depends. And it also depends on how many transactions you have. Like if you have never gone through and actually, um, you know, done your transactions, like really classified your transactions. It is a lot of detail work. Like, you know, I classify my own transactions. I do it while I'm watching a couple movies. Notice I said movies, not one movie. <laughs> movies. All right. So I hope that helps you out. 
And um, yeah, so again, we air Monday through Friday, nine o'clock ish, and you can come right here to get your questions answered about your home business taxes. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.